Hey everyone, today's video is top 10 games to experience. I hope you're ready for it. Let's <laughs> check it out. Video. Why can't I get that? No. I'm gonna redo that. So before we start, I'm Chrissy. And I'm Nick. And this is my channel, Two Sheep, One Wheat, where we play board games and I review them. If, were you gonna say something? Oh, well, and, and occasionally we do a top 10. Yeah, occasionally. That's pretty much all of December. <laughs> <laughs> Get these videos out so we can enjoy some family time. Yeah. So anyways, if there is a game out there that you would like me to review it, just let me know in the comments down below, like this video. And then, of course, if you are not already subscribed, please do that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes, so let's go ahead and get started with our top 10 list of what? games to experience. Top 10 games to experience. This is a unique list. This is, yeah. Because it's not top 10 games you need to own. No, but just experience. You need to experience these type of games. Yeah. Some Probably of them just are... these types of games. Like, well, yeah, these types of games, but these games. Yeah, like... they're unique loads of emotion going through playing these games um, i've cried at some of these games <laughs> it's a unique list guys yes. so buckle up let's <laughs> okay. get into it <laughs> number 10 nick made this list <laughs> what's that supposed to mean they're all gonna know take out number 10 well maybe uh i'm gonna redo the list here uh, <laughs> quick give time. me a pen <laughs> uh -oh. perfect like ready moving. perfect Number 10. This is on every single list. We have eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> it is on a few lists. I don't want to spoil it for you. No. But, but Brass you... Birmingham is a great game that everyone should experience. And yes. that is a fact. Yes, this game does bring a lot of emotion to me because I get frustrated. And I feel like that's kind of a telltale of a good game. You know, it's, it's one of the higher ranked games on BGG. Uh, which doesn't mean much really it just means it's popular yeah but I guess so. it's popular for a reason and i strongly believe that this is a good game Next. and chrissy agrees no i it was i enjoyed playing the first time and then i just thought that you know what, maybe if i just played a little bit more um the second half to the game would come um but we have so many games that we don't get to play it often in a row mm -hmm. so but it's definitely something anyways for me i don't know i feel like there's just too many options <laughs> yeah so it's, it's a good game yeah. so that's our top 10. thanks for watching <laughs> okay so no, that was number 10. number 10. <laughs> so move on to number nine which i enjoy this game a lot more it's unique it is it's a great experience search for planet x number yes. nine yes this um, is unique because of one reason. The, everyone needs experience because this, everyone uses their own phone. Yeah, like which it's is app not driven, typical, right? But no, it's not. Usually, there's one device that's passing but it around. Everybody has their own device for yep. it, which is very and it tracks unique. everything as a group, right? So yep. you log in kind of using a unique yeah, code. You create a game room and yeah, but it's it's unique. Uh, you it's know. like process of elimination. Like the game itself is pretty unique. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You're literally finding Planet X. Process of elimination. So it's definitely it's not fun. for everyone. But it's something that everybody should experience. It's, it's something to experience yeah. because I can't think of many games. Like that. I, I know lots of games that use apps. Yes. But I can't think of many games where everyone uses their own. Yes. Which I mean I can see that coming into if somebody doesn't have a phone. Which yep. happens. It does happen. Right? Um, but yeah, definitely something that worth checking out, worth at least trying. You, I think it's a, either you love it or you don't. Yeah, but it's it's definitely one to try. Oh, and yeah. that's uh, it was a great experience. Yeah, we played this at four players. We did. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder what it would be like at one player. I don't know. Probably would still be just as fun. I think you're just playing. Hey, maybe you'd be playing uh, against an AI on the phone. I don't know. Don't speculate. <laughs> <laughs> if that's not how you play, somebody needs to make a game like that. <laughs> but it's it's fun. Uh, I suggest you check it out. Yep, and that one was number nine. Number nine. Oh, you with the covers. Anyways, number eight is a good one too. It doesn't even matter what kind, which one you're playing. Because there's a lot of them. There are a lot of them, and I think that... Um, they're a great experience too. Again, another app Another app-driven game. This and one not 
kind of the same as the other one, one app to go around, but... Uh, it's a storytelling game. You're trying yeah. to figure out clues and find yeah. out what happened. What did you call it last time? Adult Clue? Adult Clue. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Um, but there's so many different types of Chrono Climb. This is, this is the third in the Millennium series. Yep. Uh, 1400 and 1900. Yep. And then this one, yeah, 24 uh, And then there's just Chronicles of the Crime. Yeah. Uh, they just came out with a kid's one. Yes. Uh, what is it called? The Quest for the Moonstone. Yes. Also really fun. I've talked about that one a few times too. But it's, it's a real cool cooperative game. And I think... Uh, a different take on a cooperative it's, game. It's I different think. tape. It's well, replayable. You it know, is, yes. Because it's there's lots of scenarios. Mm -hmm. And, and not, a theme for everything. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely... Yeah. Definitely check it out. Chronicles of Crime mm -hmm. from Lucky Duck. Yes. All right. Moving through the list today. Uh, three for number seven. Three for number seven. <laughs> I bet you can't guess what it is. No, it doesn't matter which game you play. Some better than the others, but definitely quite an, ex an epic experience. In a tiny package. <laughs> it's unreal how much <laughs> that they pack in these. Like, Teeny Epic Pirates has an expansion in there. And it fits. I'll tell you right now, it fits. If you have doubts, it fits. Yeah. It's... They're, they're, they're epic games. Like, I don't know if they're epic. But they're tiny games that are huge games. Well, you just start taking things out and you set get, it up. And you're like, what the heck? <laughs> like, you just hear what my sentence. They're tiny games that are huge games. Like, that's yeah. just oh, yeah. so... That's epic. That's epic. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're, there's a game for everybody. Right? All of these three games are totally different games. Yes. So I'm not saying any specific Tiny Epic game is, you know, the one experience. Yeah. You just need to experience one of these Tiny Epic games. Yep. They're, yeah, they're, they're big games. They're in big games. In a little box. In a little box. And they're fun. A lot of them are fun. A lot of them are fun. And, yeah. you know. And, oh, you didn't bring the other one out. No, I didn't grab them all. No, we have the other version of this, the Tiny Epic uh, uh, Galaxies. Uh, Blast Off. Blast Off, yeah. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> I like the artwork better on Blast Off. Yeah, but I like the game. Play better on this that one, one yeah. yeah. I've played this one solo. There's not many games that I've played solo, but I've played Teeny Epic Galaxy solo, and it's quite fun. Yep. Mm -hmm. So definitely experience a tiny epic yes. game. Yes. If you get the chance to, do it. So yeah, so there's, there's a game for everyone here in these in these games. Oh yeah, exactly. We we like to put our list together as something that there's definitely something on this list that either you've played and you really enjoyed or you would enjoy if you did get to play it. Yep. Okay. Number, Number six. Holy smokes, we're going through these. We eh? are moving through these. Oh, they can see it. We may as well tell them what it is. <laughs> Cosmic Encounters. This was an epic this is fun. play. So this, this is an old game, yeah, and it's it's still popular. That's fine. Um, it's almost a party kind of game for four people. Like you have to have the right almost. group. Almost, yeah, have to yeah. Have you have, right to have the right group, group for it. Um, um, there's uh, lots of different character cards, right? That you can pick lots of different character you, cards. Just it breaks the rules. Game breaking right? rules, yeah, yeah. right? Um, but that's the fun in it. And you know, you got these little saucer ships, and it's, it's just. And it's it's fun. It's just an experience. You can target people. Yeah. Yeah. But you need the right group. Um, yeah, we will say that. Yeah. So it's definitely one to ex to check out, for to experience, just for the pure fact of how many different race cards there are. Yeah. Right? And they're all hilarious. Like, there are... It's funny. It's fun. You need to check it out. You just need to experience it. I, You know... It's definitely not a game for everybody. We play this all the time. <laughs> check it out. Yeah. Cosmic Encounters. This is not even a top list anymore. It's check it out. Check it out. Definitely. Number six. And then I feel like number four, number five. five. <laughs> number five here is a pretty epic game. Was this, <laughs> this is top... 10 epic games or is it top 10 games to experience? Yeah. Well, you know what? You have to experience because it's a pretty, it's an epic game. They are fun. Yeah. It's our first, uh, Vital, <laughs> Lacerda game. Vital Lacerda? <laughs> yeah. It's our first Lacerda game that we've played. Yeah. And this, this is kind of one to, I'm not saying Lisboa is the one that you need to play, but you need to play a Vital Lacerda game. And this, right? I think. I think this is our pick, though. I, I, I do think this is our pick, the yeah. experience. Um, I feel like 
are you, there's something these to are, be said about your first game. These are big, complex games. We thought we could read the rules and play this in one night. Yeah, and you can't. No, no. Not unless you start early. <laughs> but, and and it, it's a simple game. You can only do so many yep. things a turn, right? It's not limitless. Yeah, but it's just planning. the combination of having to work it out and. And go all this, You're you know, thinking of your next move. I feel like this is like a game of golf. Yeah. Or not golf. Of, golf? Uh, pool. <laughs> game of pool. You're thinking about your next move. I don't know. No? Oh, you're, you're gone off you the sound, deep end. You sound like you don't win. <laughs> <laughs> no. According to our videos. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> don't mind. But yeah, definitely these are big games. These are complex, hard games. And you need, a, you need to experience a complex, hard game. That's... Yeah. You know, just to see really the depth of board gaming in general. Yeah, right? and this like, one's got a pretty cool theme too. The artwork on these boards are really cool. Yeah, it's not for everybody. I wouldn't say everyone needs to own a copy of Lisboa. Lisboa. Yeah. But if you get a chance, you need to check it out. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Wow. Top I'm, 10 games to, to experience. Check out. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I like it. I'm going to get rid of this box because it's huge. I could basically Where'd disappear. Nick Where'd Nick go? Could you imagine? That would be the best Christmas this is like present a, ever. A Redford box. A Redford box. <laughs> Dan can sit behind it and then Redford can just be out there like that. Could you imagine? <laughs> oh my gosh. He wouldn't have to be under the table. Yeah. All right. So what are we moving on to? Uh, number, number four. four. And number four has a very special meaning to Chrissy. I hate this game. This I is love a game. this game. I hate hate this game. I will never forgive you for this game and we will never play it again. We will play it again. We will never play it again. Nick blew up my Death Star. Because I was, I was the Rebels and I, know, I, just I was to supposed know what, to blow up the Death Star. You know what? It's fine. Star. It's fine. You blew up my Death Star. That's fine. But next time, just let me blow up a planet first. She lost it. I lost it. I bawled my eyes out. I'm not even going to lie. Like... She, I, is this this is the only game that I think I've cried? Mm, maybe this is the first game I cried <laughs> over. Uh, and I'm not like I'm I'm not a terribly emotional person either, and like especially when it comes to like games. Yeah, but this is an epic game. It's a two player game. You can play four players, you know, by splitting up the roles. But it's really yeah, two players. It's a two player I, game. Yep. And it's it's just a giant epic battle. You know, it really puts Star Wars this feeling into it. This is an epic list. It is an epic list. Yes. But these are epic things, epic lists experience, right? Like, mm -hmm. But this, I'm glad this that I is got Star play. Wars in a box. Yeah. If you like Star Wars, and I like this Star Wars. is Star Wars I'm not playing in a box. Again, though. Right? You definitely feel the uh, Imperial. Right? The Imperial? Oh, I better be careful. Yeah. Empire. The, the Galactic Empire. <laughs> The Rebel Alliance. Yeah. Uh, are definitely overpowering. You seem the game and it's like, how am I going to do this as the Rebels? Yeah. If you're playing against and somebody like me. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. We can do it. I've done it. But it's fun. I and know. it's a big game. And you, it's a huge game. The, there's and there's miniatures a, uh, there's a for there's the a little ships. Like it's, oh, it's top We played this over two days. Yeah. Because it, it can be a long game. Yep. Uh, especially if you can't find the rebel base, yeah. which is harder than you might think. Yeah, it's a pretty big board. We yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one day we might do a playthrough of it. No, I'm never touching this game again. You may as well just sell it. Sell Don't it. Be like that. Who wants to buy it? I, no, what? Stop. Highest bidder. <laughs> okay, number three. This is tied for my favorite game. I love this game as well. I do too. This is another big box. Careful. Is it's it a special edition? Box. Nope. Good. It's Clips. Oh. Second Dawn for the Galaxy. I'm the one who found this game. It popped up somewhere. I don't even remember where. And I was like, you I saw it on Kickstarter. It. No, I didn't see it on Kickstarter. This is the second edition. Yeah. I saw the first edition. I watched somebody, I think, review it or something. And oh, I was like, I need this in my life. But this is like, uh, it's not a, it's not a civilization building game, which kind of is. Um, it's not, what is that, uh, Twilight Imperium. This is more of a Euro game in that, but there's still exploration. Yeah. There's still science. you still got the ship battles. 
but it doesn't take you 10 hours. No, it says about 25 minutes per player, and I think that's pretty, yeah. that's, that's, um, that's what it and is. And the thing I like about this game is it plays just fine at two players. It does. Right? It goes and all the way up to six players. That Yeah, and it, it definitely gets better as the more players you can go, yeah, but, but two, players, two players, like me and Christy, enjoy, Christy and I enjoy kicking this game out. Love this game. Like, this is a, one of our favorites, but yeah. it's just fun exploring, space, um, different characters too and their color like this is a huge box and it's got right. a lot of stuff in it really well organized in it too but i you know and if we've if, if we had played twilight imperium it'd probably take the place of this just to game experience yeah. just because of how epic it is but if you have kids <laughs> if you have kids this is much more of a, a game that you can get to the table yes and that's kind of where it's that's where we're at right now yeah what games we can get to the table so definitely yeah. eclipse uh Space. Yeah, if we if we played Twilight Imperium, that would be on the list. Yeah, it would take this place for yes. sure. But that's number three. Yeah. Now We're number two. Blowing through this. Number two <sighs> is. We were gonna back this. All in. Is too many. <laughs> the number number two is just too many. <laughs> what a dead giveaway. Too many bones. <laughs> <laughs> Too many bones. We gotta closet. have fun with it. This, yeah, but this has been sitting on our shelf for a really long time before we yeah. actually got it out. Yeah, uh, you know, it's definitely not a game for everybody, uh, I but just see that. a chip theory game. Too many bones on the list, but it's more of a chip theory games. You need to experience the quality of components of a chip theory game. And that, well, and that. That's on its own. Has. Oh yeah. yeah, like neoprene, plastic oh, cards. Yeah. It's the whole. The, the way a the reason, whole thing works. There's a reason the cost. Yes. They don't spare any expense. No, and you know what? It's nice to have a game like that. Yeah. You know, to so, not have any complaints about a game. It's difficult. It's hard. It's a lot to learn. Unbeatable it's so far. <laughs> complex. It's confusing to learn. Did I say that one? I might have. It's, it deserves to be said twice. It's not simple. But once you figure it out and You'd you can play still play it to to be good. Yeah. Like you You'd need to play to, it to be good. Like yeah. lots and yeah, lots. Yeah, because there is a lot. Like it comes with a player aid. It comes with a character aid. Yeah. Is a what double it sided uh, 8 aid. by 11 sheet almost. Like a crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. It's fun. But it definitely, it gives you like um, a guide on how to play too. And then there's like yeah. a beginner, like, hey, start with this. Yeah. Uh, so it definitely, yeah, it's it's built to guide you. Yeah, you, it could be done better. The, yeah. the rules could be done better. The, oh, the rule book? The rules and the guide. That's not my, uh, but that's not my place. <laughs> everyone doesn't need to own this game, Just, but you need to experience a chip theory game. I Just agree. to experience the quality of components. Yep. That chip theory is known for. Yep. And that's why it's number two. That's why it's number two. And number one. We had to include it. Is. The top one. I feel like if you really put a lot of work into this, it would be like a complete, almost different game. Like so thematic, this one. Well, this one is all thematic. Yes. It's, but it's... you can make it way better. I've, I've seen some doozies. You've seen some doozies? Oh, I've seen some doozies. Wow. People who completely built it up, 3D printed this whole thing. What are we talking about? Should we introduce it? Yes, let's do it. Our number, number one. one. Oh, I like how we yeah. do that. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Nemesis. Nemesis. Now, this game is all about thematics. Yeah, we it's did a live playthrough on we this. We did do a live playthrough on this. If you want to see how awesome this game is, that'll be linked um, down below. But... It, you could be out in round two. <laughs> um, I have been out in right? round two. Like this game is all over the place. It is hard. The You're not going in there shooting down aliens. No. You see an alien and you go... You're running. I really don't want to go that way. Yep. But it, it, it emotion, right? You, you feel it. You're intense. You're in it. Um, it's like Alien, the board game. It is, but it? they didn't get the license, so they made Nemesis. Yeah. No, I, you know what? I like the name Nemesis, too. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, alien, and then i just think about the And then we movie. got someone to paint our miniatures for yes. us. Yes, we did. Painting by accident. accident. Yes. Painted our, our... You can follow them on Instagram, painting yeah. by accident. Amazing. Yeah. 
she's doing awesome. She started off not that long ago, and uh, yeah, she just keeps painting minis, and she's getting really good at it. Super happy to have met her. But having a painted miniatures for this game, because of how thematic it is, just really, it really adds to this game. Mm -hmm. um, you know, lockdowns coming out. We'll probably try to get that. We didn't get back it when it was out. Yeah, you want to tell the story? So we played this game once. The last day to back it. And we played it the first time. And I was out second round. And we hated it. Yeah, player elimination. Wasn't that fond of it. However, no. now that we've played it, yeah. um, people are not far behind once yeah. the first player is we, out. We, it, it definitely, there's a learning curve yes. to what to do. And... Once you learn that, once you, you figure it out, you yeah, can get no, like people regret. are still still eliminated. Yeah, and you can still get unlucky, and you know there's dice rolls and yeah, right, we've won. You don't play twice. this game because of how technical it is. No, you play it because you want fun. the fun thematic gameplay of trying to get the ship to go where you want it to go, and yeah. not die. Yeah, I like fubbing. <laughs> yeah sure everything's working <laughs> yeah we're going to earth not <laughs> yeah but you know it the game does a good job because when you see an alien it you're like oh no oh yeah and that first <laughs> alien comes out and then you have to pick um which of your uh, uh objective objective cards that you want to yep. pick yeah and then the <laughs> And then the uh, queen comes out. Oh, yeah. That's a doozy. So that's our number one to experience. Definitely, again, these games aren't ones that everyone needs to own. No, definitely play, though. But definitely, if you can get a chance to play with someone that has them, a group, yeah. I highly recommend Go to a board checking. game store if they have uh, games that you can rent. Borrow, yeah. Borrow. Try that. Yeah. But it's definitely, definitely fun. So anyways, that was our top 10 list of games that you need to experience. I hope you enjoyed this list, and we will catch you for the next list. Where's your waiter? Oh, bye. <laughs>